my face ain't no Detroit, so I can't be your shoulder. I can't you look at a Motown, right, which is where I would say Detroit hip hop starts. Okay. This is Piper Carter, a Detroit artist and culture curator. She co-founded We Found Hip Hop, an organization that empowers women in the performing and visual arts. Carter says to understand Detroit hip hop, you've got to first understand the impact of Barry Gordy and Motown Records. He looked at all these very talented people who came from historic Black Bottom and the historic North End of Detroit and was like, hey, we can figure out a way to um, organize this so that we are, you know, creating these avenues for people, right? This then becomes a successful formula. The formula was so successful that Gordy took Motown out west to California in 1972. But by the early 80s, a new culture was emerging, one that Detroiters were more than ready for. Take me back to the beginning of your experience with Detroit rap music. What was the first song or first artist you can remember hearing? Well, the thing is, um, before it was actually a rap artist, the dance actually led um, in the 80s. So um, because hip hop, Um, or hip-hop culture at that time was actually a mixture of, like, the music of the times, which was, you know, could be classified as, like, R&B, like, you know, um, or, like, funk and soul. And then, um, and then, like, rap kind of, like, it came in, you know what I mean? But it was, like, it was all a part of, it was, like, an amalgamation, right? I think what, um hip-hop culture kind of provided um, folks is I would, I'm I'm a dare say maybe more like a safer space to be an artist, to be creative, to be innovative. Um, That was something that was very important in hip-hop in general, but definitely in Detroit it was very important. There's also techno emerging, right, which is a very I'd say it's a close kin in Detroit to Detroit hip hop because the same people who were going to all the hip hop things were also going to techno. So you'll notice in Detroit, people are very like techno and hip hop, hip hop and techno, because those things grew both out of like the underground, um, the lack of music and arts education in schools, you know, the whole um, uh, post urban renewal. Um, you know, the destruction of neighborhoods and things like that, where, you know, uh, independent arts uh, culture emerged through the young people, through the youth. In the 90s, a Detroit fashion designer named Maurice Malone opened a clothing store that became more famous for the open mic it held at nights. This was a space where artists could invent themselves on the mic, the hip hop shop. You've probably heard a lot of the stories about the hip hop shop, which is where, yeah, a lot of the, what we know of as Detroit, Hip hop culture, your J Dilla, your Eminem, your Proof, all of that comes out of that. Through the 90s and 2000s, Detroit established its own signature sound for rap music. Up tempo drums, dark and simple piano chords. These are the building blocks of producer Helleva and rap groups like the Street Lords and the East Side Cheddar Boys. At Capitol Studio in Oak Park, just half a mile north of Detroit, is Travis Pittman. He's a Detroit producer who goes by the name 4AM Juno. He's working on a song with Detroit rapper Lilo. He says the Detroit production style fits perfectly with what the city is all about. It's a city where people want to get money and hustle, so I think that fast-pacedness kind of just is in the culture, like moving fast um, and just trying to get to what's next, like whatever next level or what's next in the day. Like just get some money and do what's next, have fun. Even though having fun is still fast-paced, like really turned up and stuff like that. This sound, however, was confined to Detroit and a few other cities in the Midwest for decades. But recently, rappers like 4-2 Doug, T Grizzly, Babyface Ray, Sada Baby, and Icewear Vezo have been getting praise from folks beyond Detroit's borders, all while keeping the Detroit sound alive. Like you were saying, it's been really regional. So I think that the fact that everyone's hearing it now is like something new, something new and exciting. Juno has been recording music in Detroit for the past seven years. There's been a whole conversation about uh, other rappers from other cities kind of taking Detroit's sound and style. What kind of pride does that give you as a Detroit artist, you know, someone who's really from here and is really in the scene? I think it means that we're doing something right. If other people want to um, 
emulate it or make stuff similar to it or they must be somewhat a fan of it or they're influenced by it. The more recent Detroit rappers are able to get their music to bigger audiences than ever before thanks to the internet. Lilo, whose real name is Khalil Jewel, believes Detroit style is the new standard for what's hot in hip hop. We have like different artists embracing Detroiters in the Detroit style and it's kind of allowed it to breach places that it didn't breach before. It's hand in hand with the art scene, it's hand in hand with the sports scene or everything is touched by the rap scene. Everything is touched by the, every part, every aspect of Detroit is kind of this conglomerate and you just got to look deep enough to see it. So I feel like being passionate about any part of Detroit's art world is going to lead you to the music. Lilo says he wants his music to bring awareness to the everyday struggles of Detroiters. Those struggles, he says, include crime and poverty. So instead of me providing ways of necessarily being able to stop these problems. Instead, I am a voice that people can empathize with and maybe see themselves in, or if they have no clue about what's going on in my city. Lilo is still in the infancy of his career, but he knows he has a lot of opportunities ahead of him. He says seeing some of the biggest Detroit rappers finally getting shine after years of grinding gives him all the confidence he needs. With those kind of success stories in front of me, it's kind of like, how, how can you fail? With more eyes on the scene than ever before, Detroiters like Carter, 4AM Juno, and Lilo are proud to be a part of the city's deep hip-hop scene. Like Lilo, 4AM Juno is looking forward to what comes next in his career, especially bringing in artists from other cities who are fans of the Detroit sound. I want to eventually get some of those people in New York that I like their music on some songs with people from Detroit and just bring people together for real.